Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Shoustool and this is another tutorial for modding space engineers. In this episode, we're actually going to do a little bit of UV mapping because I have been running into issues of rendering and when the block is in game, it doesn't look proper. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and open up Blender and get started with that. Alright, so here we are with our block. We are on layer 1 and we want to make sure we unwrap this properly. So what we're going to do is go to edit mode and go to line select. And this is pretty much where we're going to start off. Actually, I'm going to hide these because we don't want to mess with those. And I'm going to remove the sharp edges. So I'm going to start with the easiest pieces. And the first one is going to be this panel over here. And I'm just going to add some seams to it. Now when I unwrap it, it's going to end this here. I'm going to end up re-unwrapping everything once I'm done, but I'm going to show you how everything changes from being properly UV mapped and not properly UV mapped. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hide that, and we're going to work on the base now. Just select those lines, and remove that one, remove that, and there we go. Add this little key press thing here for you. And when I fully select it, you can see that it looks a little bit weird. We have a cut, the base and the top, and then the edges are kind of scattered about. But now when I unwrap it, it's all one piece. All right, so hide that. Now I'm going to go back to face select, and I'm going to remove these back pieces here. Because I actually want to work from scratch. Or work from a easier point of view. Oops. So get rid of those and delete. And now we need to go to edge select and select all the edges. There we go. Get rid of those. Oops. Mark a seam and unwrap it. And here you can see it's overlapping. Overlapping is perfectly okay because the entire thing is using the same texture all around. So we'll just ha actually leave that there. Go ahead and select these. Oops. Make sure we have the whole thing selected. Go back to edge select. And I'm going to circle deselect these. There we go. Mark seam. And if I select this whole piece, go to the side, put the cursor in the center, let's rotate it 30, oops, rotate 30, and then rotate 180, and then rotate 45. And now I could just rotate 45 and get everything back. Now go ahead and select all of these. And when I unwrap it, you can see they're all kind of scattered about, and that all the little caps are all by themselves. Alright, so I'm just going to hide those, and now we're down to just this. So go back to edge select, and let's get this top piece here, and it looks pretty much like the others, go hide that these little things edge select again and mark seam hide those alright so now we're gonna do these cap pieces here and I'm gonna do them rather easily by just going here 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 oops here come on there there and there. So now I'm going to go to the side and scroll down just a little bit and try to keep the edge in line. There we go. Now when I fully select these and unwrap them, you can see that I got the cap piece here. These double lined ones are here and this big circle here 
is just the back. And then these long lines is the outside of the cylinder here. Let's go ahead and hide those. And this is a cylinder again. And we want to do a line cut on the bottom. Make sure it's on the bottom over here as well. And it looks pretty good. That's the whole thing. And we got the big lines again. All right, so now I'm gonna do this portion. Line there, line there, line there, and there. And we're just gonna go to the bottom and line there. Select the whole thing and unwrap it. And we got a bunch of circles. All right, now we unhide everything. Hide the panel because we don't want to show that. And just unwrap it. And here we can see that it actually looks a lot cleaner. And now when we actually go to take the icon, it's going to look proper. And I'll do that in the next video. And I'll see about showing you what it would look like between the Smart UV Unwrapped and this version. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.